you've got yourself in a terrible mess, mixing up your public duty with your private relationship that you kept secret for many, many years. Did you make money out of this, Mr Maguire? I find your obsession with my failed private relationship rather bizarre. Last year, New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian found herself under sustained political scrutiny over her previously secret relationship with Daryl Maguire, the now disgraced former MP at the centre of a major corruption probe. You made decisions that would benefit your boyfriend. Wrong. That's the truth. <laughs> Daryl Maguire's business dealings were laid bare at ICAC, which heard about the many ways he tried to use his position as the member for Wagga Wagga to enrich himself. You're not answering I'll, the question. The You're trying to avoid this, this, answering this the question me. here. I have nothing further to add. Sensational story breaking. Please come forward, Ms. Berejiklian. I would like to state at the outset that Mr. Maguire was a colleague of 15 years. He was someone that I trusted, oh. and that developed into a close personal relationship. The discovery that the Premier was involved in a close personal relationship with Mr Maguire obviously raised concerns as to the knowledge of the Premier of his dealings. Last year, 7.30 revealed that back in 2016, then Treasurer Gladys Berejiklian oversaw a fund that set aside $5.5 million in grant funding for this development in Wagga Wagga. What is Gladys Berejiklian's interest here? Is her, is her interest merely in uh, advancing the community at Wagga? Or is it possibly uh, her relationship with Maguire? Why didn't you declare a conflict of interest over this funding reservation decision that you made as Treasurer given it did involve Daryl McGuire. Uh, now, if you are suggesting that the Treasurer of the day uh, personally signs off on every single funding allocation that's made, that is incorrect. Uh, what the Treasurer of the day does is allocate dollars to relevant portfolios, to relevant uh, ministers to prioritise what is in their portfolios and uh, to make decisions on what are worthwhile projects. Gladys Berejiklian has repeatedly downplayed her involvement in the awarding of this grant. All, all those arrangements went through the normal processes. I don't intervene in those processes. The, normal processes. the Premier has been very careful to try and distance herself from this entire process. 7.30 has obtained hundreds of pages of internal government documents about this little known grant. They reveal the lengths senior government officials went to and the role the Premier herself played in securing funding for this little-known project in Wagga Wagga. The documents reveal that Daryl Maguire wrote to then-Treasurer Gladys Berejiklian in January 2016, asking for financial support for the Clay Target development in his electorate. She replied a month later, thanking Maguire for bringing the project to the government's attention. Before the Clay Target Association had lodged a formal application, in December 2016, the funding for it was set aside. As Treasurer, Gladys Berejiklian would have ordinarily chaired the committee that made these funding decisions. It throws some light on whether the Premier uh, had an involvement in that and perhaps raises questions as to the extent of that involvement. And so in turn, that may raise the issue as to whether there was a conflict of interest uh, that required disclosure. Initially, the state government wasn't persuaded by the Clay Target Association's proposal. An internal government assessment questioned whether the planned convention centre would attract significant numbers of international and interstate visitors as promised. The original business case said that this grant did not stack up, that it shouldn't proceed. A couple of months later, the grant was assessed again. This time, the project was found to deliver a small benefit to the state. By then, Gladys Berejiklian had risen to the state's top job. After the original business case basically said this project should not proceed because it didn't stack up, we had a, an intervention to try and uh, work out a way of rejigging the figures, rejigging the assumptions, uh, to try and get the project over the line. This letter between two senior public servants reveals a request by the Premier to take another look at the Wagga project. As the grant neared final approval, another senior bureaucrat updated one of Gladys Berejiklian's staffers. 
Just wanted you in the loop, the staffer writes, given the Premier's interest in the Clay Target grant. What we see from these documents is not only was the Premier advised right at the outset, she was kept in the loop and intimately involved throughout the entire process. And that's very much contrary to the Premier's public narrative. We encourage people to keep coming forward to get tested to make sure we're... 730 sent detailed questions to Gladys Berejiklian's office, which did not provide any on-the-record response. A spokeswoman for the Premier has previously said Gladys Berejiklian was not under investigation by ICAC and never had any knowledge that Mr Maguire may have breached his own obligations. If there's a breach of the code of conduct, it can, in an appropriate case, constitute corrupt conduct. That's exactly what ICAC, I think, would be looking at. Okay, you requested a reassessment of a $5.5 million grant that Daryl McGuire stood to gain a political Can you please from. stand back a bit? Thank you. Why did you do that? And isn't that a serious conflict of interest, given you were in a, ser a, a secret relationship with him at the time? Firstly, the, the proposition you're putting is absolutely ridiculous. And second, all proper processes were followed. And that's all I say on the matter. Thank Premier, you. We, we've seen the letters I'm that sorry. you exchanged. You exchanged letters with Daryl Maguire about this project. You, you, you wrote to him, for, you thanked him for bringing it to the government's attention. Wasn't it a serious conflict of interest getting involved in any way in that grant process, given you were in a relationship at the time? I refer you to my previous answer and please respect this press conference. Any other questions? Yep. In December last year, ICAC announced it was extending its investigation of Daryl Maguire. 7.30 can reveal that one line of inquiry is the Australian Clay Target grant. They are issues that would need to be scrutinised and I think we're entitled uh, in due course to ask for answers to those questions. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.